Sergeant America coming at you. Boom. I was looking for the little light, but it's a little different on this one. So, um, uh, hey, I'm late to the party as usual. I thought I'd dip into the new 52 of DC, uh, and I end up picking up uh, Demon Knights. Got it at an excellent price. It was evidently used, so my wonderful store um, sold it to me at a steal of a deal, so I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it's one of those things. You get a good deal uh, on a book that looks okay. Um, I didn't flip through it. I, it was all sealed up into the bag, but I thought I'd just take the risk, and it paid off. Um, <laughs> for a you know six dollar book, it was definitely a good buy. Uh, this one, as you can see, Etrigan the Demon is right on the cover. Um, I was a little confused because I did think it was going to be like Demon Knight uh, Etrigan. It's actually do 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 knights. There's seven knights in this book, loosely seven knights. Um, with that, it was uh, Etrigan was one of them. Madame Xanadu was another one. Um, well, I got to look on the back here. Al Jabbar uh, was one of them. Sir Yeltsin, the Shining Knight, the Horsewoman, um, even Vandal Savage was one of them. And then uh, there was a Ext Extrostos, uh, and I'm sure I butchered that one too, who was kind of a, a Wonder Woman character. So it was excellent to see all these people together. It was one of those group books where, you know, everybody gets kind of, uh, it is kind of Dungeons and Dragons, medieval, however you want to say it. This is after the fall of Camelot. Uh, these people all get to this village coincidentally at the same time or by fate. And uh, by doing so, there is an invading army that is coming through that wants a larger city, but they have to wipe out the small city to make sure nobody warns anyone. So uh, it's one of those reluctant hero stories. Everybody here is a little bit bad uh, or not quite a hero. Uh, they band together. They attack each other. They fight each other. There's twists. There's turns. It was a good story. And this is a story... Written by Paul Cornell. Um, Diogenesis Neves was the penciler. Michael Choi Robinson Roca did additional pencils also. Um, and then Neves, Choi, uh, Roca, and Fiera did inks. Color was Marcelo Malio, which I want to say I think worked with... Um, Serentino, I'd have to double check my green arrow stuff, but I want to say that was a colorist. Um, but I mean, you can kind of see the names there. So for having this many people worked on it, it actually was a pretty good book. Like I said, it was, um, I don't know that I would have paid the original $15, maybe, maybe. Uh, you know, a lot of these books I tend to purchase also on, um, Black Friday or on a new comic book day. My store usually has sales, but like I said, this is in the, the bin. I had put back Secret Six because I wasn't happy with Secret Six as of right now. Uh, but this one definitely kind of filled that role for me. So Demon Knights, if you get it, uh, I would say under the cover price or if, you, if you're really into this stuff at cover price, it was just an excellent book. Um, it was a good story. I enjoyed it. It looks like it continues on. I'd have to check, but I'm sure this series also ran very short. Not a lot of people read DC for their medieval D&D stuff. I mean, that's kind of a third-party tendency sort of book. Maybe I'm wrong. Please discuss in comments below. Uh, please keep reading and enjoying. Let me know what you think of Etrigan and any of the others that I mentioned. Um, you know, I don't want to tie this up too much. Um, there was some delving into um, a woman's role in battle. There was some touch off on the idea of Sir Yeltsin, the Shining Knight, was a male, female. Um, not as much as like a uh, Secret Six uh, sort of book or any of those that really dig into the idea of gender. Uh, but it just starts to touch on it. So for that reason, it was also an interesting read. But like I said, I don't want to wander this on. And this is getting on about five minutes. So last but not least, 
catchphrase.